Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. Make your IT job easy with tools part 4. Now today it's actually not about just getting tools and installing tools from a site and doing things. Sometimes when you start working in a company in a real world scenario, things will be already in there. So today we are going to talk about those type of things and uh, certain precaution kind of uh, way you know that you can make your job easy so today is all about that it's not about just getting or installing a special tool so this video is probably more you know suitable for system administrator or someone new to become a system admin or and trying to learn things and uh, or maybe they're getting a job that uh, that requires more of that type of things like you know working on sites uh, working on projects working on different type of applications so what can you do and this is going to be a very small video because we will create uh, specific courses related to these specific skills that we're going to talk about today so in a normal company environment you know when you go to the company what do they have you know most of the time uh, they have a website so this is a website right here my drawing is horrible but just just bear with me you know this is website right here and usually you know there will be a company like this you know this is a company and everybody access this site but then there's a server right here uh, you know in-house server and then maybe they have a cloud uh, like Amazon and you know some of the servers are over there uh, so it's it's a combination of things like that and so you as a system administrator or someone who is trying to become that person you are going to be the person kind of dealing with these things so maybe you have another company w uh, helping you with some advanced stuff maybe you have another engineers working with you but you could come across a scenario that where this is the site and in this site it's not it's not just this one big site and there's uh, you know only one server is taking care of it it could be many things related to that site it could be a search engine in that site and that search is actually coming from a different server or from a cloud server and that's a total different application you know that is serving all of your other members right here so to get this uh, you know whole concept uh, at a very basic level we don't want to go into any details today because uh, we can never finish this video then you know so I'm gonna minimize this and to just show you you know how people have things done you know they have web server like IIS Internet uh, Internet Information Services IIS. Th this is the name that you're going to hear if you're going to become a system administrator. And usually, what happens is that that site that I just explained, you probably will have some site like this. You know, for example, JobSkillsShare.org over here, and then uh, on the bottom, you might have many many sites out there, many applications in that site. So you could get a project that hey, you know, we need to update one of our ad system or ads that runs on your site or maybe maybe it's a searching ability or maybe some other application maybe forums surveys whatever it is you know there there are multiple applications running in one site so you could get that project that okay can you upgrade this because we have a new version available uh you know but let's say this is a 13 and we need to make it to 14 so how can you make your life easy make your IT job easy when you're a new person what do you need to do now the first thing you need to do is to understand what type of other uh, you know things are connected to this site is this running out of database I is this just the content so stuff like that you need to ask yourself questions so if it's most likely it's going to have a database connection so you know more of the most of the applications usually use that type because you know people use their uh, username and passwords and things like that and some could be just update the content what content what I mean is this when I click on this all these folders have some content in them for example images or maybe some other data that needs to be updated to the new version maybe there's some different codes in there that needs to change but then it can also you know you have to update your SQL stuff so that that takes you to a different skills now now you need to know about SQL servers everything like that I don't want to go into that right now but just want to give you a little you know touch up on these things that how things you can make your life easy if you're new to this if you're brand new to this 
first of all if you want to get to this uh, the application content you can simply right click here and go to explore now if you are smart what you will do is as you can see in www root this is the main uh, area of this like you know the root of these site anything inside is become another site or application in this right so you can see right here Batman Pro is my site right that's running an ad system so what I would do is I am going to be because I'm going to be upgrading this I will keep a copy like this and you know in a different place or somewhere on your any any other backup systems that you have or maybe for that time being because you're doing an upgrade you can just copy paste it right here to make sure that you have the old uh content with you so what happens is, is that in case you go in there and you replace all this content and something is not working for you everything is messed up all you have to do is to bring back your old content simple as that this is going to make your life easy in IT this kind of stuff you know if you don't do this trust me you are gonna come across something that you know it's going to get really messed up and you will not be able to fix it unless you go back to your backups and think of it how much work you're going to do going back and do you even have the backups is it even working is it even in a great condition stuff like that can really really uh, you know uh, again that that stress level will either be nice because you have a copy and everything or your stress level will go up, up above the roof because you really don't have anything and now you're in a really big trouble so that's number one you know just copying a content like that I usually make even two copies just in case one gets messed up and two in a different places if it's really important application even if it's not and if I'm doing that work I don't want to go through all these backups and everything like that I really just want to do things quickly so I will keep things two backups you know in one place and one in another place one gets messed up you can use the other one so that's one way right Another thing is, you know, going back to SQL. Now, basically, what is SQL is going to be like, you know, in a real world environment, you'll have a SQL server running. Somebody will be managing that SQL server, or you will be managing it. So, you will have everything like this. This is a database connected to that application that we have right here. So, if when people talk about databases like this in a SQL server, you connect to it. Let me disconnect this so I can show you from the beginning. Uh, something like this and then you open the application and you go to start you click on SQL Server Management right here and then what you do is you click on database engine so what do you what database you want to connect on what server what what's the username so when you click on connect here it connects you to that databases so what whatever databases you have uh, access you can see it right here in the database now like I said, that was a simple thing, you know, updating a content because you got it from some company and they say, hey, you know, can you just replace the folders? Don't do anything else. Just copy and paste it on top of this folder or just it, all these folders needs to be uh, copy pasted. Pretty simple, right? So you did the copy thing. But it can be more complicated when it comes to a SQL stuff. So what you need to do is you need to go to your SQL first, the database right here. Right click on it, go to task and click a backup create a full backup and make sure this is also in in a place where you think is 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 going to be like you know not corrupted or anything take two backups if you want to so if it's a small thing you know sometimes uh, applications can be really really big and you probably won't have that option but you will just do okay and then you create a backup like that so simple very small step but trust me uh, anything come when, when it comes to databases of SQL, even a small thing can just make the whole database just go off, you know. And you just have to restore things. And if you're not a database expert, you really won't be able to figure this out, you know, you, on your own. This is not going to help you. It's going to be very stressful. So all you have to do is then, if something gets messed up, you simply come here, go to the task, and then restore the database simply that's that's all you have to do if things didn't work for you now if you want to go to another step and, and the way real IT people will will do is that they will have uh, three environments uh, they usually call it development stage and then production some people have even two environments which is fine but you should even if you have one environment and this is a pretty bad uh, you know 
plan that people did that they have only one production which is kind of like you know I don't think it's it's out there I don't even want to say that it's out there you know so what you need to do is to even if they don't have things like these like a development servers that where you can do mess up things even if they have these three environments you should make your own envi environment on the site just use one server in the company you know talk to your manager or just if you have ability build up your server you know put all these things together make sure you don't use the real IP addresses because it's gonna conflict and if you're using the same applications it may have a web config file that might go back to the real site and just uh, you know uh, may, uh, you will have issues so make sure this machine that you have that for testing is not connected to your real environment so it could be you know on a separate network so it doesn't go out and uh, you know nothing uh, real IP uh, your your network IP uh, you know they cannot connect to each other so you can just you know use everything inside this one server and then play around these things you know w connect the database together uh, play with the web config files another thing if you want to work with the system admin positions and system engineer positions this is what you're going to be doing actually then you can go into more details you know of learning what IS is what kind of logs can I get from this how do I get logs from this when there's an error in this site how do I fix this why I can't connect to the database okay go back to database learn about SQL stuff and when you learn these two things like that trust me when you go to start working somewhere as a system administrator or someone at that level or maybe that person you, this is your job this is going to make your life easy so that was the part of today's video and I, I told you guys I'm not going to use any tools today uh, everything was built in and that's how you are going to when you start working trust me people are going to come to you hey we're going to update our ads manager today and uh, not today I mean after a few weeks let's do some meetings and uh, let's get on it and then if you don't know anything about the IS manager and SQL server then it's gonna get really hard so that was a good tip so let's uh, let me know how this video is and then we're going to create more videos and and also tell me what parts in other future parts what do you want to see so because these video videos are free on YouTube and this is kinda of like off the course kind of videos so we don't go in details but we will discuss some good things in these parts